This episode was brought to you by Metallic Dice Games, your source for premium, snazzy-looking gaming dice. Get 10% off dice and dice accessories on MetallicDiceGames.com with our code TRIALS10. They have a bunch of gemstone, plastic, and metal dice, tons of variety, tons of beautiful stuff. Go check it out, and again, don't forget to use code TRIALS10 to get 10% off. Everybody, and welcome to episode 199 of Trials and Trebuchets. I'm your dungeon master, Luke, and joining me are my players, whose names are. Hello, my name is Ben, and I play the level 10 gnome wizard, Windsor Wallaby, along with his cuddly little companion, Mr. Wiggles, in the crowd. Yo. Hello, everyone, it's me, Carla, and I play the level 10 tiefling roguelock, Integrity Eye Idol Barry. Under the stage, <laughs> under the stage, Bailey's a loser, will be the winner, take it from me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah, and I play Mira Marchand, the level 10 half-elf bard. Don't speak, I know what they say. I'm gonna be debating, don't enter the network. Don't speak, it's Syndra, me, and Bailey. I'm ready for complaining. You're joining the network. Hi, I'm Sam, and I play the level 10 human sorcerer, Serena of Cinderman, sitting in the back after passing out some lovely little circle. Would you also like one? Here you go. I'm going to put on your hammer. Mm, there yeah, you go. It looks lovely. member, take that brass circlet. I'm sure it will protect you. Don't listen Take to him. Take it right he's now. Being, he's being freaky. Don't worry about that. And last time on Trials and Trebuchets, the students were reunited in Integrity Idleberry's dormitory room, which they found to be in a state of disrepair as something had snuck in and snatched her remaining orbs from her trunk. Filled in on all of the details about Our Lady of the Deep, the rats, Bailey Blue, the students then split up before the event planning committee candidate symposium. Winsler went off to commission brass brain blast blocking circlets, Mira to greet early arrivals, and spread good word of her validity as candidate and president of the event planning committee. Sarenepth went to overlook the venue and keep a lookout for Bailey Blue himself. And Integrity laid a trap beneath the stage for the man. As the symposium began, as the candidates were called to the stage, uh, the one and only Bailey Blue arrived just in the nick of time to be called up and take his place among his fellow candidates. We find ourselves, students, in the dining hall. Though it is not in its typical format, there is a stage assembled at the back of the room, right underneath uh, a, a trio of stained glass windows on the far wall. Uh, there's a few rows of chairs, roughly, I believe, uh, just under 40 or so students in attendance. Uh, there's event planning committee members such as uh, Bowen, Arlie, the uh, treasurer, Jacek standing to the side of the room, uh, looking a, a bit tense at the gathered crowd and at the, the, the general state of the symposium. The, a bit of worry before the words begin. Uh, on the stage itself, off to the side, sitting on a chair is Efrosini, who will be acting as the moderator. She's the secretary. This girl, this human girl with long brown hair, she looks uh, a bit under the weather and is clearing her throat, coughing quite a bit. And then on standing at podiums, we have from left to right, Cinder Sunfire, Mira Marchand, and Bailey Blue, uh, who looks to be in great condition and great health. Uh, don't, looks like shit. Don't mind his uh, undone hair and kind of patchy uh, stubble around his chin and upper lip. Uh, don't mind those bags underneath his eyes. I'm sure he was just up all night working on his 
working on what he had to say here. Mm. In the crowd, there is a, a few people, 16 or so people, who have these brass circlets around given out by the wonderful Winsler and Serenaf. You two are sitting in the back row, presumably right next to one another, uh, the crate of remaining brass circlets under your feet. Winsler, you have one of these uh, gold and silver helmets over your head. <laughs> uh, and Serenaf, you have one of these uh, brass circlets. Uh, Mira as well also has a lead one made from the sheath that Integrity had. Uh, the light streams in, this midday light streams in through these beautiful stained glass windows and kind of illuminates the entire thing. Uh, there's a couple of torches to the side of the room as well. And it's just generally a, there's this um, very uh, frozen in place air about the entire room, I would say. It's silent. You can hear like the shuffling of feet and the creaking of boards underfoot, Mira. And in this silence... The moderator, Efrosini, will kind of uh, stand at her side position and will begin by saying, We will now be hearing from the candidates themselves. Uh, they will be stating for all of us some of their goals and ambitions as uh, should they become the, the president of the event planning oh, committee. Um, we will be beginning with our, our current uh, President uh, ba uh, Bailey Blue, um, and uh, please let's hear it for our current president, uh, Bailey Blue. And she kind of mumbles the last bit. Um, Mira, this is pretty notable for you, I think, a, a person who's kind of been around this person and also might just be very socially tuned in right now. I feel like uh, if in, if any time, if any moment is the moment to be like on your game, I would assume right now is. Um, mm -hmm. Efrosini seems to be her. Make an insight check, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell sure. you some information. You already made one of these against her, but I'll give you this one again. Hmm. Uh, that's 15 plus 4, 19. Pretty good. Uh, she seems to be as if she has very low energy, as if she mm -hmm. is, and as if she is, that energy that, that she does have is fading rather quickly uh, to the point that she, she might be like mumbling under her breath uh, or very, very unable to keep up some sort of like social appearance by the end of this symposium at her current rate of decay. You can take note of that and kind of watch her for a few moments and then Mira your eyes can shift over to Bailey who just moments ago sent a pretty sly smirk over your direction. Yeah. Uh, one question about um, Efrosini. Yeah. Is she, um, she seems exhausted. And I know that from before, uh, it seems like she has some aspects of the network tapping in. Does it seem as though she is just in her announcement, like showing any favoritism toward Bailey here in any mm. sense? Or is it more just that something has been done to her? With a 19, yeah, it does, it does seem that way. Um, that there, that okay. there does seem to be a little bit of favoritism. Those, the way okay. that she says our current president, like the look that she has mm -hmm. in her eyes when she says that, it, 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 it screams to you, it, this is not the appearance of a normal person saying these. There's a certain amount of uh, zealous energy that does flare in her eyes when she says that. And she looks out on the crowd, almost trying to like prove to everyone or convince everyone, like this guy's the one who's in charge right now. This is the mm -hmm. guy who should okay, remain in charge. I was considering doing something to help her, but now I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Mira, you uh, steal yourself to not aid Efrosini in any uh, way possible and can turn your attention over to Bailey, who stares out through these tired eyes across the entire crowd. He makes eye contact with a few people. Uh, you see him like bow his head slightly his arms are just he's almost fully supporting himself upon this lectern this pedestal uh, in front of him mira uh you're doing a similar thing but more in like a like folding your hands in front of you making yourself look very like approachable presentable uh like a person of authority uh bailey is doing this in a way that it looks like he's gonna fall over and kick the fucking bucket any moment <laughs> and he's just like grasping like white knuckling the edge of this thing and he'll say hi hello everyone um, I am the current event planning committee president, as our, our wonderful moderator said. Uh, I've been in this role. This will be my third year. I slave away during autumn's end and during the start of a semester, as, as any of you who have started here in the past, it, throughout my entire Time as president will know you had orientation meetings. There are tours, uh, your your assembly with the headmaster to be selected and put into teams. Your meetings with mentors. Again, any 
any any <laughs> any like stops himself for a moment Mira. he's just staring down at this empty lectern he'll look up at everyone and say anything that has happened on this campus not done by faculty not done by the administration has been helped has been planned has been orchestrated by me and if you've not seen my hand in any of it it is because i am doing the greatest job that i can if you wish for things to continue the way autumn's end happened at the end of last year in such a grand way, larger than it had ever been before, thanks to the help of Headmaster Crow. If you want things to continue with that trajectory, if you want things to continue to work and work properly, things to be happening, events events such as the club meetings or club fairs happening when they are meant to and without any any big problems, there is no candidate other than me who can make that happen. And he gains a bit of confidence there at the end, Mira looking up at the crowd for once in his speech and kind of mm-hmm. like puffing out his chest proverbially, right? Mm-hmm. And he will look over to Efrosini and give a quick nod. And, and then she will say, and that is it for Bailey Blue, our current event planning committee president. Thank you very much, Bailey. Um, and, and now for his two members of opposition, uh, we'll, we'll be getting first with the um, first year and, and first to throw her hat into the ring uh, in, in, during Bailey's, uh, Bailey's time as event planning committee president. Uh, Mira Marchand, if you would like to tell everyone about what you, you aspire to do as uh, club president should you be elected. Oh, yes, absolutely. I, I'm a second year, actually, by the way. Um, hi there. Uh, so my name is Mira Marchand. Um, you might all recognize me from the uh, tournament victory, planning the uh, 954 Golem party. I recognize some familiar faces who are at that party. Uh, the event planning committee, uh, some of you will know me from the book club, foreign language club, and of course, music club. I'm committed to planning events, helping out my fellow students, and encouraging others. I was described by Headmaster Crow as altruistic. Not only <laughs> did I plan uh, the Golem party, but I was also behind the scenes responsible for the optimization of many of Mr. Blue's events without credit. Mm. For example, the vendors at Autumn's End. I did this at the same time as uh, winning the duels. I've spoken to some students about the things that matter most to you. Things that we as a school are currently not doing as much as we should be. Things like control over your class schedules, greater support meeting for study groups, and other things like that. I have several pieces of my platform. I want to talk to you guys about social events. Um, You know, as the student body, we don't get much interaction with students in other years, except for duels and the occasional club. So to facilitate more friendly student interaction, make the school feel like a more cohesive body, um, I pledge to organize and approve a large number of social events on campus. You might start seeing things like dances, game nights, club recruitment fairs, and other similar events becoming more commonplace, which can give you guys a little bit of time to kick back and relax after our intensive classes. Speaking of those intensive classes, like, I want to talk about getting more educational resources out for you guys. Like first year is really hard, right? A lot of us have never yeah, been in a school environment before, right? Totally. And now we're suddenly <laughs> we're studying, totally studying totally spells really and <laughs> spells and arcane history, other things we might not be familiar with. And even in the upper years, as classes get more specialized and difficult, because classes get so much smaller, there aren't a lot of resources in those classes right now. So as president, I'm going to work with the student body and professors to provide a greater wealth of resources for students. Uh, this might include organizing regular study sessions for introductory classes, recruiting volunteer note takers, whose notes students can borrow and more. <gasps> I also want to talk to you guys about campus security. Uh, um, Mira. Yes. At, when you take a deep or take a very quick <laughs> breath and you go, I would now like to talk to you. You hear or you see rather, Efrosini will stand and she will clear her throat once more as she has been doing uh, and try to talk over you and say, um, M- 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 Mira, uh, thank you so much for... Oh, I'm uh, so uh, sorry. Uh, I just have one more platform piece I'm I'd like to talk s- that's about. That's wonderful. Um, we so can go over it a- in a little security. bit. We, this, I'm sure someone can ask a question um, about it, but uh, we are running well, on actually, a very it's a tight big part schedule. Of my platform. That's, I um, mean, I'm sure it, if it was a big part of your platform, it would have come up already. Um, but thank you. I'm sure Ms. several of you have noticed um, among the classes here that like sometimes there are some problems on campus. Sometimes ones that go noticed by the larger student body and sometimes ones that aren't. <laughs> 
Um, if you, for some of the uh, high achiever, high grade uh, students at this school, do any of you guys remember some of your friends starting to disappear sometime around Ooh. last year? Oh um, my gosh! If not, I remember. You probably didn't notice, yeah. and if if that's if that's the case, I'm why. Uh, last year, there was a problem <laughs> of an Oblex uh, running rampant in the school sewers, and it was actually me and my study group who helped track this thing down and uh, defeat it. And if any of you have more questions about that Oblex, feel free to ask me during then. Do you guys remember when there were like all of those crazy fires across campus and they suddenly stopped? Do you remember why? Uh, that was me and my study group as well. A person in Not the crowd, a person in the crowd <laughs> turns to their friend and goes, but wasn't there a fire literally last night? <laughs> <laughs> We are tirelessly working not only to deal with the like above ground, really basic stuff like giving you guys better events and educational support, but we're also working behind the scenes to deal with threats to the school that we'd like to continue to keep relatively invisible for you guys so you can keep studying and living your normal school life. As event planning president, I pledge to deal with these in a much more efficient capacity, and you can ask me a little bit about that uh, later, but that's me, I'm Mira, and see you guys after the Q&A. Mira, you think she's telling the truth? A voice from under the stage speaks. Yeah, integrity. Are you talking under the stage? Can you <laughs> no, explain no, no, yourself? No, no, no. These are like random people from the crowd. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, They're also stuck for the under context. the stage. <laughs> Mira, when you finish speaking, after having bulldozed after a scene, you see her just glaring at you, and you might, uh, happy as a peach, look over to Bailey Blue as well, where he is looking towards you with exhaustion and frustration mixed in his face, kind of like shaking his head a little bit. Sort of just like clapping in the back. A very professional smile and return to where I was standing. Wonderful. Um, so while uh, everyone's focus is on Mira, while she's mm -hmm. doing this wonderful speech, mm -hmm. very heavy in like the things that she wants to do for the campus, may I uh, walk towards like... Or, I guess, crawl towards mm -hmm. where Bailey Blue Ooh. is sitting right means. now. Yeah. You duck walk yes. underneath <laughs> this stage, keeping your head low so that your horns don't snag in the wood. Uh, and you can walk over to right underneath where Bailey Blue is standing on this stage. And using my invisible mage hand. Oh, no. May I tie, like, if, if, if. I, I, what does, what are his shoes? Does he have shoelaces? Bailey Blue absolutely has shoelaces. He has a pair of middle tier uh, leather shoes. Mid tier. Uh, not <laughs> mid tier yeah. leather shoes uh, with some nice laces. They seem to be a bit torn up on the soles integrity, but yes, he has laces to his shoes. Using my invisible mage hand, I would like to untangle those mm. and retangle them together. Could you make for me a sleight of hand check, please? And thank you. Yes, I can. Bailey just looks down and watches his shoes be retained. He's like, I can't. <laughs> he, and he knows for a fact that he can't bend over to untie them and fix them because he will just <laughs> fall out of his chair. I'm doing this stealthily. Um, thank you very mm -hmm. much. I got a nat 20 plus Wonderful. 11, so that's 31. One. Damn. Okay. <laughs> a invisible hand, unbeknownst to anyone in this room except Integrity Idleberry pops into existence above the stage and goes quickly about its work of tying Bailey Blue's shoelaces together. Not Hell so yeah. not so tightly that he will notice right now, but well enough that the moment he takes a step, he will fall to the ground like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> as this happens, Ephrosini looks at you and Mira, has this hard look about her as if you have annoyed her very deeply mm -hmm. uh, by speaking over her. She will say, out loud, uh, addressing the crowd and you. Thank you so much, Mira. Anyways, next, moving <laughs> on to uh, our our final candidate, um, Miss Sindra Sunfire, uh, a, a newcomer uh, this year to the event planning uh, committee itself, uh, and a, it also has thrown her hat into the ring. Uh, thank you, Miss. Go ahead. And she is like shaking her head, Mira, like almost similar to like a person who's like having a terrible headache. Uh, mm -hmm. And she will sit down in her chair and, and cross her leg and kind of like put a hand on the side of her head and just rub at her temples, uh, her eyes closed, not paying attention. Um, in this time, Cinder Sunfire, this short, uh, blue-skinned, tiefling, red hair, uh, very professionally dressed, will uh, open to the front page of the 
large binder of things she has put here on her, her lectern. And she will say, students gathered here. My name is Sindra Sunfire. I am here for a very few things. If I gain the presidentship <laughs> of the event planning committee, I would like to start using the infrastructure of the committee to perform greater acts of good on this campus, to organize this committee into a larger student uh, organization so that we can bring problems similar to what Ms. Marchand mentioned in, in her address, uh, issues of student accommodations, uh, people not having the proper access to language resources or having improper class schedules posted or just the options to choose between uh, professors uh, in, in specific classes. The, the opportunity to uh, have you as a student here ever wanted to change your room? Have you yes. disliked your roommate? Have you been put into a room that is improper for you? Because I guarantee you there are students on this campus who are in put into lodgings that are inadequate for them. Yeah. <laughs> Winsler. <laughs> um, I not me, though. <laughs> also believe that we do not as adequately reward the hard work of the students on this campus enough. There is t so much work put in uh, by you, my, my, my fellow uh, attendees of this school, and I believe that something of a uh, more rewards than just good grades and uh, kind words from professors should be, should be uh, organized so that we can adequately promote that kind of behavior. Uh, in, in my time here at Wildcliffe, I've received very few positive encouragements for for my my uh um and she begins to fumble and mira you see uh efrosini uh come start to recover from this kind of like headache this thing that has passed over her and she looks like she's about to interrupt Sindra in, in just a few mere moments uh not quite yet but Sindra. i will let her i, I like Sindra, <laughs> but i'm not going to help her out here okay wonderful in that case, Sindra will say, uh, and for that reason, I would suggest that we organize a uh, jur for a, 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 a partnering event during autumns and one that commemorates not just the um, ability of, of people like Mira Marchand and, and their uh, practical abilities and talents in just fighting people, which is an archaic tradition at this school, but, but, but something of a, a, like a, a merit or award ceremony for students who are academically gifted, but, 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 but not just... Uh, getting into fights constantly um and further <laughs> and she begins to like <laughs> she puts it bluntly. Pages, and she begins to scramble through her pages uh and that this time efrosini will stand up and will say and thank you and Sindra will do the kind of thing that you did mira will attempt to do it and be like well actually i have another uh just quick please um <laughs> and then be turning pages and efrosini will be like everyone th thank you to miss sunfire who has thrown her hat into the ring let this her year. finish you didn't say there was a time limit i don't have to answer you people <laughs> you hear her <laughs> i'm gonna be clear i'm gonna be clear i'm gonna be clear mira you hear Mira and Integrity. You can hear her whisper this under her breath in kind of like a foul tone. And then we'll say a, a thank you to all three candidates. Uh, we'll, we will now. I would like to clap extra loud for Syndra because she got cut yes. off. Yeah, like, we, would, like, we wish to clap over Efrosini. Of course. <laughs> Uh, people clap. There's a couple other people around you who are like, oh, right now is the moment, and clap alongside you. I do like a polite little kind yeah, of half clap. Of course, of course. A golf clap. Just like smile. Yeah. Yes. I, I just smile at Syndra because I'm just like, yeah. we support you. Good job. Uh, uh, Mira, you can look over at her, and she looks quite disappointed in her mm. uh, conveyance of her plans. Aww. In this time, uh, I'm going to cut to a different person. Windsor Wallaby and Serenap the Cinderman. Mm -hmm. You were sitting in the back of this place. You were just clapping loudly for uh, Syndra. Winslow, you were like, yeah, when she brought up the people being in rooms that suck. Yep. Um, <laughs> could you, I, I'm, I'm gonna just let this, I'm not gonna make you make a perception check. It's quite obvious when this occurs. Mm. You hear a tiny creak from the door behind you. It might just be the wind, it might be something else. Uh, and you hear that kind of creak as it closes back again. Again, very tiny, small, old doors. This happens all the time. Nothing to make note of. It could just be somebody entering who got who was here late. It could yeah. be, absolutely. You do not hear the footfalls of uh, a student rushing to take a seat. However, uh, you hear instead very loud flaps of what sounds like 
a bunch of little tiny wings. Winslow, this is a sound you heard before at the start of the week. Oh, uh, no. It is similar to what a, you would call a <laughs> pigeon flapping its wings uh, loudly. Uh-oh. Okay, um, that and th- that, yeah, Sarah, if you hear the sound, Winslow, this immediately triggers. This sounds exactly like the homunculus UN Integrity Uh-oh. had created, flapping about. <laughs> you can turn over your shoulder and see it climbing up to the eaves of, or like into the rafters, into the peak of this dining hall where it is like, it looks, it's lurking. It's like this little mottled uh, brownish creature with a impy little face and big little, big wings the size of a squirrel. Am I the only one hearing no, that? No, I, I hear too. I hear too. Sarah Neff, look up. Yeah. What you both see it that? flying around up there. I'm like that. I completely forgot about that. Me and Integrity made that. It's supposed to look for warlocks. Oh, this is really shit. bad. <laughs> it's oh. going to do something. We, Wait, we have to. What did you tell it to do, do when it found a warlock? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Integrity just told it to look for one and like spy. <laughs> I think it was specific. Okay. Oh, um. wait. We were. Sp- it was specifically given instructions to spy on Bailey. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, so if it's just gonna watch, then maybe if it doesn't. I don't know if it's gonna watch. We didn't say anything about it interacting. You see it. You see it circle once. Uh, I'm I'm like watching it like a hawk now. Like I'm terrified. (laughs) Loud flaps coming from up there. Uh, You can mirror on the stage. You hear a. Kamusel, oh, kamusel. That's not a word. A kamusel. Uh, a commotion. <laughs> a kamusel. You hear a kamusel coming from the back seats of this uh, uh, small symposium. You can oh, see shit. your two friends, <laughs> Winsler and Sarah, up the, are like gesticulating and like are like very worriedly uh, talking to each other in hushed tones. And you can hear like the fuh, 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 and you're not so quite certain what that is. You can look up and see this weird thing circling about. Winsler Wallaby, it's Sarah up Cinnamon. You see this homunculus, this impish little creature. <laughs> it circles two times, three times, and then will hover in the air on its big, silly wings, tummy stuck out like a little silly guy <laughs> as it just hovers up there and it surveys the stage for a moment and then it looks to the side of the room where other event planning committee members are and then it looks to the, like at Ephrosini and then it looks like straight down and it just generally looks quite confused, Winsler Wallaby. And then you will see it begin to, uh, in a way, in a kind of, in a, in a, in a, very sudden move. Oh, you see no. it just like tuck its wings and just begin to like dive down oh. towards the ground once more. Can going I going off ca- for this? Oh, shit. oh, what would you like to do, sir? I so want to cast you levitate you on it. Oh fuck! <laughs> to lift it back up to the ceiling and hold it there <laughs> as long as I can. <laughs> All right, this is this is going to go so horrible. I know. I'm, oh, I'm trying to stop it from dive bombing into to do whatever it's about to do. I'm trying to stop it's it. It's looking for you, integrity. Oh, what no. saving throw do I need to make? A constitution saving throw? Yeah. Constitution Excellent. saving throw. This is going to go terribly. Integrity. Or Carla, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you make this roll for me. Just tell me what you roll, okay. and I will adjudicate. <laughs> that is a seven. Okay. Sam Sinderman, does a seven beat your saving throw, DC? It does not. Oh. Okay, in that case, this little fella, this little guy, this little homunculus begins to, uh, it, it tucks its wings and dive bombs heading down towards the crowd, towards the stage, towards people at large. Serenip Cinderman, you speak a small incantation, point a finger at this little fella, and then he goes, and just flies back up into this, the, the eaves of the ceiling, the, 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 the rafters here in the dining hall, uh, and just like stands there. And you hear like a small, like a, <laughs> t- the tiniest squeak possible. I'm just trying to like counteract every time he tries to, every time he tries to jump down, I'm putting it back up to where it was basically. Like, Of course, just... of course you can do this very subtly uh, pointing your finger up at it to keep it com- wherever you would like. <laughs> Meanwhile, back with the symposium at large, uh, Efrosini will say, uh, we'll now return to our candidates and, and kind of open the floor for them to discuss uh, matters that uh, they've brought up uh, uh, in, in, their, in their opening kind of uh, statements of, of what they would do should they, should they be elected to president. Uh, but of course, um, as, as our current 
President uh, Bailey uh, Blue, Mr. Bailey Blue, Bailey Blue uh, I will give you the floor uh, first to to uh, question or discuss uh, points with your fellow candidates. And she'll sit down quickly, Mira. Um, Bailey looks at her. We'll look over at you for like 10 seconds in silence. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Mira, I yes. apologize if I never mentioned this to you or or made made more clear what how appreciative I was of of your help last year in the event planning committee but but you, you, uh, things that you brought up s- s- stuff like helping with vendors and organization during autumn's end when I was s- swamped with other things th- those are just regular components of being a part of the event planning committee and I really appreciate your gumption and your aptitude for it and uh by all means I would love more help from you this coming year uh, during autumn's end uh, and 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 miss sunfire of course mentioning that we should have uh, student award ceremony such things have been d- discussed in the past however uh, most of the time professors are unwilling to um, go along with such things uh, just due to time constraints so uh, novel suggestions from the two of you but uh, by by no means are they uh, out of place or uh, unorthodox for members of the event planning committee or ideas we've had already. Oh, of course. It's just that, um, Mr. Blue, in your opening speech, you uh, you told the audience that these plans were single-handedly yours, and I just mm. wanted to... I understand that a lot of audience members might not know that uh, other members of the event planning committee do a lot of that organizing as well, and I just want everybody to know that I was responsible for a lot of the events that went well, as well as some events that you, Mr. Blue, I understand that you're very swamped with schoolwork, weren't exactly present for. I mean, I know that a, a very large percentage of the Autumn Zen Festival mm. was performed by us. And I mean, I was swamped as well. I mean, we won that duel. You can imagine how busy we were. Um, I just wanted to communicate exactly how that works so that people understand that, you know, as president, I will be very, very capable. And not only will all of the events that you loved this year continue to run, but I'll make sure that far more is available in the kinds of events that you guys might like to see, whether that's academic, social, Mm. and everything in between. Yeah, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? He kind of says to himself quietly, he goes, I, I, I was under the impression that uh, you were doing a ton. Yeah, you sounded really swamped during Autumn's and Mira. It, it, if I'm not mistaken, you were doing the duels, uh, mm-hmm. helping out with event planning committee obligations that you had already agreed to. Um, there was a little thing. What was it? Um, uh, p- uh, organizing with your team to steal from other teams their items if i'm not mistaken excuse me uh, even, no that's and even now at the start of the semester when there's there's so much going on with the event planning committee stuff uh, organizing to break into other students rooms in the night and do who knows what oh bailey um i i've really enjoyed working with you um in in the event planning committee this year and i feel really disappointed that you have to resort to lying and attack ads to try to win this election it's I'm, by no means a lie. Bailey. I- I'm sorry Bailey, to say. Bailey, come on. And I'm going to like look around, and I'm trying to give off the impression yeah. that not only is this a lie, but this is a very cringe, desperate lie. <laughs> I just kind of look back to the audience. I'm like, yeah. dude, uh, come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whisper, like, man, this is kind of embarrassing for Bailey. Yeah, or, I'm just, like, I'm like, yeah loud enough for like, other people <laughs> in the crowd. Like, like, it's kind of embarrassing for Bailey to lie like I this. Can't, I can't believe he would. I can't believe he would just, like say stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, especially is this a persuasion his... check or a deception check, Mira Marchand? Well, I was going to say it's a performance check. Mm. I, it is deception. It is deception. <laughs> deception. You are my friend. I'm absolutely <laughs> lying. <laughs> because, yes, yeah, that stuff is all true. Uh, I do have a plus nine to deception, so Excellent. hopefully this roll uh, makes itself okay. Uh, Does that whispering an help in any way? nine. Oh, yeah. That's get a 17. Seven. Take advantage. Oh. Take advantage from okay. seating the crowd. <laughs> oh, that's way better. That's a, a 14 plus nine. That is uh, 23. 23. Nice. Uh, the crowd kind of, like, laughs a little bit. Uh, at this guy, the person you whisper to, Winsler, is like just shakes their head and goes, "What a f- idiot!" Um, <laughs> wow. Oh. And I don't yeah, be like, oh, "Oh, that's not what I was." <laughs> the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I Bailey just like kind just, of like I was like, "You can't, you can't stop it now." I'm sorry. <laughs> Bailey kind of like pulls his tongue around, like grinds his teeth a little bit. Will look down and look back up at you, like glaring at you, Mira. 
mm-hmm. and you hear him quietly under his breath. So only like you and probably Cinder can hear. And he's going, he, he'll say, you're really just trying your hardest, aren't you? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Sorry. I, I guess bringing up those kind of things is kind of uh, uh, below us um, in, in a position like this. I apologize so much for uh, bringing them up. I thought they would be of, of more pressing or talking about um, det- det- detention awarded, but I guess that's on no one's head and talking about academic warnings that people have received in the past year. That's This isn't the place for that. You're so right. Mira. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I certainly wouldn't want to say negative things about your character, Bailey. Um, if we're bringing those things up, I would be, I, I, I wonder, I'm sure that I mentioned this earlier and I, I look towards the uh, group and I'm like, that some of you might even have remembered going missing yourself, losing memories or this happening to your friends. Um, you might be wondering about the fire that uh, happened and I can tell you all about that. So uh, last year, and I'm going to like step yeah. forward a little. I'm like, uh, some friends of my classmates, uh, high achieving students began to go missing and we started tracking it down and we learned that there was an, an Oblex. Uh, so we went down to the school and if you're wondering about my detention, it's because we went down to the sewers because the, uh, I mean, the last year's administration wasn't really acting to help. And so we took that upon ourselves and we, I actually found uh, Mr. Blue there who was um, also had broken into the uh, school and somehow evaded detention. I'm very impressed with you there, Bailey. Mm. And he said that he had actually created this Oblex and that he That's wanted untrue. to... That's just untrue. I did not do anything you like that. I absolutely did, Bailey, as part I of a school project, like a pet. if I remember yes. right. Yeah, like and a then pet you let I it cared go for free in the and school. And it broke away because it was a creature of great power, Mira, and I was doing my best to recapture it, it before terrible right. things happened. I was doing the same thing as you were, and if I recall, I didn't get detention for that kind of act. Yeah, you, I, I sure remember that. So you admit that, um, you admit that remember... it was yours? <laughs> you <laughs> that you... will stand up and go, Excuse me, we'll take questions and um, uh, things from the crowd later. Please refrain so, from yelling out. So I was down there and Bailey himself. was there. So we all, even though it was not our responsibility, we took it upon ourselves to help anyway. Great and help. let's see, we went and it attacked Is Bailey. I don't think Mira, he did anything Mira, to help. I don't know and why. And let's see, what else? Oh, and then so uh, back to the fire. Uh, when I uh, announced my intention to run for president, um, I believe Bailey said some stuff about how he was not going to stop at anything to defeat us, that he was going to, uh, he was going to make something similar to the Oblex. I think I he said something that. like, I did it once, I could do now it again. Now you're spreading lies. Now you're spreading uh, lies. So I went to his room. I went to his dorm room to come and talk to him last night because I wanted to I was in a state of distress last to... night over horrible things that had been happening. So I came and you to his dorm. broke into my dormitory and to attack no, came... me and my no, friend. No, I knocked on the door. You broke I my on the door, door open. You and your friend, Saren Epp Sinderman, broke my door nope. open. So I came, I knocked, and I spoke to Bailey with the intention of, you know, let's clear the air. I don't want this to be like a fight based on attack ads or anything like that. And uh, his friend, uh, Yakov, I believe it was, um, attacked me and Serenep, who was just there because we were walking together because we're friends, uh, attacked us, broke the door. And I remember falling unconscious. And then the last thing I remember is the the dorm was set on fire. Uh, I'm, to be completely honest, I didn't want to bring this kind of thing up because I think that I can win this on on my own merits. But with Mr. Blue uh, starting to spread, frankly, very untrue things about uh, about me, about the campaign, I think it's necessary to bring up the fact that I think some of Bailey's actions are a threat to student safety. Um, And I, as someone who has a history of combating these threats within the school, I, I think it is my responsibility to tell all of you this. I'm I'm really sorry. I didn't want to have to stoop to this. I really think that my platform should speak for itself. Um, I just wanted to give you all that warning. Uh, as you, the two of you are just talking over each other, as Mira, you say all this. Cinder's kind of just st- there looking between the two <laughs> of you, <laughs> wide-eyed. Efrosini is sitting in her chair uh, looking um, non-plus towards you, Mira. Not aggravated just kind of uh, this f- air of frustration at your general uh, demeanor during this all either as a moderator or just generally as a person who might be influenced one way or another currently in her mind um, yeah when you finish this bailey is just shaking his head he's shaking his head badly and like chuckling to himself oh god this is 
this is this isn't what I wanted from this, you know? I wanted us to come in here and just I didn't want to come in here. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to fight in this election. I didn't want to I didn't want to have to run against other people in this election and 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 you're really forcing my hand right now, Mira. Um I've run this club as well as I can. I've done the most that I can do to make things go off without a hitch, and they have. And if small moments outside of that in the past year, uh, tending to a, a, a pet who I, 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 I saw the good in and, and, and then working towards the destruction of that thing when it became a threat, if that's, if that's something that we're going to look down upon, if we're going to lie to one another and to everyone gathered here uh, about what happened last night, about the actions, if we're going to paint them in the color of you being some hero here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mira. And he'll look up at you and he goes, you're forcing my hand. Bailey, I'm really sure that I don't know what you mean here. Uh, like I said, I would love to run this smoothly. I don't want to be digging into your past, digging into the harm you've put the student body in, because I don't think it's about that. Um, but if you, you know, you start bringing up things about me, like a, a, a detention here and there, trying to not only attack my, my qualifications, but my character, then I, I have to bring this stuff up because I really do think it's relevant to the election. But if, you know, you're not interested in going down that route, why don't we forget everything that's been said about the Oblex or the fire that, you know, you and your classmates set in your own dorm and we, we can just talk about our platforms. I'm more than happy to do that. He breathes deeply, Mira. He looks out over the crowd and his eyes linger on a couple of people. He makes quick eye contact with you in the very back, Winsler and Serenepth, and he lets out this very deep sigh. <sighs> now we could do that, Mira. Maybe that would be the smarter thing to do here. Okay. Mira, he seems to be... Give me an insight check right now, please. And yeah. uh, Serenepth and Winsler, you could make the same check as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, integrity... Um, I don't roll well. Okay. <laughs> That's Ooh. a seven. Okay. Um, 24. That, 24. Damn, okay. that's a... Nice uh, I have a 19. Okay. Uh, Serenup, uh, Tamira, your approximation is that he's just on the back foot, that he is being... His, his entire plan here was just to come and attack you, and now it has crumbled before him as you have gained the favor of the crowd. Uh, Winsler and Serenup, you feel like... You see this guy. You see Bailey. You see him looking and speaking as if he is truly digesting what is what Mira is saying, as if he is coming to terms with what Mira is saying, right? There is a part of his voice that's not so much on the aggressive. It's not so much on the attack right now when he when he goes, maybe that's what we should do. Maybe that would be the smartest idea right now, that he truly does believe that, right? Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. the next moment, in the, the second after that crosses his lips, Mira, you looking at this guy, your enemy, uh, Winsler and Serenup, you watching him closely from where you are, or Serenup less closely as you are uh, keeping a homunculus at bay, but <laughs> Winsler and Mira, you're both watching this guy closely, integrity, you're underneath, you can hear his deep breathing, and in the moment after he thinks, says out loud, that probably is the smartest idea, you see a very subtle purple shock go across his like head. Oh. almost emanating from his eyes and there it begins to emit this very faint purple glow from his eyes just like little uh torches just a just a very faint thing it, reminiscent for you Winsler Wallaby to those cranium rats reminiscent to you as, uh, Mira as that rat brain you had grabbed and crushed in your hands uh -oh. mm. you see this glimmer grow out across his eyes emanating from him and he will say out loud in a kind of much more rested, much more commanding voice, uh, he will say to people, everyone, I need you just just for a few moments. And Mira, he like is like turning at like something painful as if something painful is ringing out of his ears. You see a bit of blood running out of his right ear, Mira. Uh -oh. uh, and around his neck, you see this like faint scar 
tentacle scarring begin to reappear on his skin where it was uh, notably missing from. Uh, and he will say, as he, his ears like pull, um, he will say, he will say, I need you all just a moment, just a moment of peace. Just, 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 oh, please get out of my head. I need you to all sleep. He's going to cast Mass Suggestion. Okay, oh, fuck. I... Okay. May I cast Counterspell on that? Ooh. Yes. Uh, I need you to make it. This isn't a third, third. This is a sixth level spell. Oh, so fuck. I need you to make a uh, DC 16 uh, check with your spell casting uh, ability, yes, which that's... should be pretty okay. easy for you. Okay, yeah, that's a charisma check. Yep. You, I, I really should know this. Do you know if this includes your proficiency bonus? Uh, this is your spell attack modifier, yeah. Okay, so yes, that's a plus nine. Uh, okay. Sorry, no, a, an ability oh. check using your spellcasting ability. So that's just a charisma check plus your charisma. Yeah, it would just be straight charisma. Okay, so it's just plus five. Okay, okay. come on. Uh, that's a little more tenuous. It's roughly a 50-50 chance. Let's see what happens. Um, That is... Exactly, a 16. Holy that is shit. Really so Mira, Fuck. as he says this and you see sparks of purple psychic energy lash out from his tongue, how do you counterspell him in this public forum? Um, I think I almost do like this very performative heroic thing where like hmm. I get up and I um I like just immediately strum a note on my lyre and uh, it's almost like a visual representation of, uh, you know how there's bars on mm -hmm. sheet music? Yes. One of those just like shoots out and kind of smacks his hand to the side. And I'm like, whoa, hold on. Did you just try to cast a spell on the crowd? He <gasps> looks as if he's been slapped. A couple of people in the crowd, like their eyes are wide. Ephrosini looks at you very lazily, Mira. And Bailey, his eyes go bloodshot. He looks at you and he goes, I was. I was trying to cast a spell on the crowd because I needed to deal with you privately very quickly. Um, Integrity? What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Grab his ankles and pull them in. Integrity from <laughs> under the uh -oh. stage is going to jump up. Oh. <laughs> oh break God. through the stage. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Make an athletics check for me. Oh my god! What is happening? I mean, we were wondering where, where integrity was during I this guess. entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> and may I tackle Bailey? Make an athletics check. <laughs> while this is to happening, break I'm, through the board. While oh. this is all happening, Smooth sort of just still staring uh, at the homunculus, trying to jump down. That is twenty-four. Holy fuck! Holy fuck. Damn! <laughs> integrity <laughs> just like six. rockets out of the stage. Mira, shit. perfect you're form. Like, were you trying to cast a spell on the crowd? Bailey goes. Yes, I was. I was trying to deal with you privately and not in front of. And then immediately, <laughs> just boards <laughs> splinter and break as Integrity, with her arms above her head, just breaks up through the floor and like jumps onto the stage. Uh, integrity, uh, yes. everyone, Hi. everyone gathered here. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. I'm waiting for you to say the words. Come on. Yeah. I'm so scared. <laughs> I need you guys to roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, no. What? Woo! And integrity, you'll get a surprise round to start. Okay. Uh, that's not great. I love uh, to hear that. That's a nine. Why couldn't you've rolled better? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I got an eighteen. Plus two, twenty. Okay. Integrity. Nine. Two nines. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, well, I'm pretty sure she has a higher dex yes. than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me make one more roll. Perfect. Okay. Mm, integrity, you break through this stage right in front of Bailey Blue. He almost looked like he, he was turning and beginning to point a hand at Mira Marchand. You can break up through the boards right in front of him, jump onto the stage. You get a surprise round in combat. What would you like to do? I'm going to go first. Yes. You get you get to act and no one else acts around on this round. They are all surprised. I am going to use um, my squall. Your dagger, and yes. Yes, I'm going to take the only dagger that I have that can really do a lot of things. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to cast Booming Blade to, uh, to shock Bailey, but okay. not stab him to death. Okay. 
Um, so like a taser. Uh, go ahead to and roll the hit as Integrity breaks out from the stage, pulls a dagger out oh at this God. guy, <laughs> and then is going to uh, just hit him with the flat of the blade. I'm sure it's fine, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is a 2d8 plus. You have to hit first, girl. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, 23, 16 plus 7. Yes, that hits Bailey soundly. Uh, you, a, a small uh, wrapping of wind coats your blade, and you reach out and tap him like on the palm of the hand, let's say. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. That is a 13. Okay, you all hear a loud boom and a crackle of lightning as Integrity uh, busting up from the stage, surprising uh, everyone. Uh, uh, a chorus of <gasps> uh, like people shocked and scared uh, emits from the crowd. Um, and Integrity, you do uh, this uh, damage to him. Um, is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, I would like to visualize from him if and if there is any way that I can see a jade dagger. Uh, oh, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? As I am standing next to Bailey, does Integrity get sneak attack damage? Uh, you that? guys are pretty kind of far away. You're not super duper, okay. duper close. I'm fair far enough. Away. It was yes. Yeah, having enough. all podiums like right next to each other, <laughs> just standing elbow to elbow. Yeah. <laughs> Stages? Yeah, sorry. The stage is probably uh, 20 feet wide. Uh, okay. It's like your guys are in a little diamond or a triangle, I should say, um, where mm -hmm. Mira, you're in the middle at the back, and then Cinder is on the left side facing the stage, and Bailey's on the right side facing the stage. Uh, Integrity out there, is there, you want to perceive a J dagger on this man. Yes. Make a perception check. That is a 15. Mm, no, he is wearing baggy robes and baggy clothing. Uh, you perceive no jade daggers. Uh, however, you do know that Wildcliff robes can hold a whole lot of goodies. Um, so you stand here in front of him, brandishing this knife. Uh, his body is coated in this uh, whipping of wind around him as you uh, booming blade at him. Uh, we will now go into the regular initiative as Integrity has taken her surprise. Uh, a bunch of people in the crowd will stand up and kind of like retreat back a few steps. Good. Yeah. Uh, as there is a rush of people who are leaving, who are fearful of what is mm -hmm. happening on this stage right now. Especially Mira, you being like, did you cast a, were you trying to cast a spell on these people? Oh yeah. Uh, and then someone breaking through the stage and stabbing someone. Uh, very scary. Uh, <laughs> it's, so, it's theater, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, Saren of Cinderman, yeah. you are at the very back of this room on the back row of chairs. You are concentrating on levitating this uh, homunculus up into the rafters of the room. Mm -hmm. And there's a big crowd, uh, so it would be very difficult unless you wanted to, like, jump across the back of chairs to get to the front of this room. What would you like to do? You're probably 35, 40 feet away. I, number one, I'm going to say to the crowd, like, you guys, like, get out of here, get somewhere safe. Like, just like, I don't know, just someone to be yeah, like. Yeah, people push, people go. push by you and they're like, don't are you doing it? And then just Good. rush out. Uh, what would you like to do as your action and stuff? My first, my first thought is, you know, trying to take care of as many enemies as possible at once. I'm going to keep concentration on the homunculus okay. until that crowded, until like the seats are all cleared out. Um, but I'm going to grab one of these circlets from the of okay. box, I'm going to start making my way to Afrosini. Afrosini. So you're going to push yourself, you're going to push, try to push through the crowd to the front of this room. I'm, yeah, I'm making my way okay. to Afrosini with one of the circlets. Uh, you grab one of these circlets and push your way through the crowd. You cannot quite reach it. Uh, you are being yep. uh, pushed around uh, and you can make it probably uh, 15 feet forwards uh, before being stopped in your tracks as okay. there's just a bunch of people. You're going against the grain here, against the flow of traffic as it were. Yeah. Um, and you and you stop right there. Uh, the, the homunculus is floating in the air. You hear another little chirp come from him <laughs> uh, as he is displeased at being so uh, cute. controlled. Uh, <laughs> Winsler Wallaby. Serenath just ran away from you. People are rushing by. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, let's see. So there was one thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to see would like like just generally telling people like, okay, everybody, just get on out as quick as you can. It's dangerous, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. skedaddle. Yes. Um, so there, there's that. Um, of course. For my, for my actual action. Yeah. Um, are the podium, would you consider the podiums medium objects? Uh, I would probably consider the medium objects. Absolutely, Winsler. Okay, Why? So there are three of them. Oh, no. 
Oh, um, <laughs> oh no. Let's see. Don't. Yes. Is there? There's like a there's like a table by Efrosini, right? She's sitting on a chair. She's sitting on a chair. Is it just a chair? It's just a chair, man. Okay. Uh, would you? What size would you consider the chairs? Ch- chair sized. <laughs> so, uh, would like that be small or medium? That's what would you medium, say? Medium, bro. Me- it's medium. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> I will get in view of the objects of my choosing, which yes. would be. Uh, the three oh. podiums, Efrosini's yeah. chair, and just yeah. a random chair in the front. Okay. And I, as I cast animate objects. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Their little legs sprout from the bottom of them as if they are uh, crustaceans waddling around. The chairs, the legs of the chairs become actual legs with full-on feet at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> the the binder on top of Syndra's as this thing animates and crab-like walks around. <laughs> uh, it, the binder falls to the ground, her pages fl- flying everywhere. Uh, she is standing here in a state of shock, as a, as a note. She is just uh, rigid and uh, terrified. Uh, so you animate these objects, Winsler Wallaby, uh, with your hands outstretched like a puppeteer. What would you like to do now? Okay, I'm going to mentally command the podiums to yes. surround Bailey Blue. So like- perfect. On each side that his integrity is not currently, like, facing. Of course. His own podium turns on him, and the others <laughs> scuttle over towards him. Again, like crabs <laughs> walking sideways. Uh, do you want the chairs to just, like... I will I will have the chairs corner after see me. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. One of the chairs from the front row hops up onto the stage like a horse galloping and leaping over a fence like a... A very majestic creature, uh, and the two of them, the one that she is on knocks her to the ground as well, and they both stand there looming over her as she coughs. Do you want them to, like, attack them? Um, I don't want them to attack, but I want them to ready. Okay. Would you I... like to ready their actions to yes. attack in the event of... In the what? event, in the event of any hostile action, they shall, <laughs> they shall, res- they shall respond with brute force. Okay, Perfect. Uh, up next is going to be Bailey. Uh, everyone within 10 feet of him, which is Integrity and these three podiums, uh, please make a we- wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. Oh, wis- <laughs> a wisdom? It's a wis- the their wisdom is three. <laughs> their wisdom is okay. three, so that's not good. So I hope I they roll- fail. But they're old podiums. The many wise words are etched into the sides of them. No, nah, they're a, brand what's a three? new. Is a three a negative three or a negative three, four? A three? I feel like it's a negative four. It's a negative four, I believe. Yes. All right, that's not good. I, Damn. I rolled a 17 without any... Modifiers. Okay. That's cool. Well, we're just going duality with the podiums, I guess. One of them got a nat 20, the other one got a natural one, and the that's other one got a fucking five. the best ever. Oh, my gosh. So... What the fuck? <laughs> so that's a 17 for the one that got a natural 20, and the others just okay. fucking fail. Okay. <laughs> and Integrity, you also got a 17, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will need who uh, integrity and that one chair that succeeded. Doing math. Uh, I will need you to take uh, six psychic damage as the this sparking of psychic energy lashes out from Bailey at everything. And for those who failed, which are the two podiums, Ben, uh, they will take 12 psychic damage. Can an object I'd- take psychic damage? I honestly don't know. Um, <laughs> Please let me know if they're immune I'm to psychic to, damage. I'm going to look that up right now. I would love to know. I assume oh they gosh. might be. That would be horrible for me. <laughs> Objects are immune to poison and psychic damage. Oh, okay. Ooh. So nothing happens to them. They are just so standing there menacingly. They are perfectly fine. They are, this <laughs> psychic energy lashes out, and Bailey's like, yeah, this will get him in his head. And then <laughs> only integrity takes six damage. Okay, so now for his actual turn, he is going to wave a hand over his body, and you see these purple and purple tentacles with like these yellow veins to them begin to like writhe underneath his shirt, and then like he like throws his hands to the side, and his robe will fly off of him, and you see his arms and around his neck are covered in these purple tentacles, uh, just. Uh, as if they have crawled or poked out from his skin. Oh. Uh, they extend his arms uh, slightly. He still has his hands open, but the tentacles uh, r- curl and fall to the ground at his sides, uh, just like long draping sleeves almost. Uh, and this will be him casting mage armor upon himself. Ooh. Mm. 
Hmm. Now, um, yeah, that will be it for Bailey this turn. I tried to do some stuff, and that was it. Uh, I need you, or sorry, and now, Integrity Idleberry, it is your turn. What would you like to do? He's surrounded by podiums. You have allies all around you. I know who you are, and you don't want to be doing this. And I'm just, like, staring at him, trying mm. to wear him down. Make, and make for me yeah. integrity. Not a persuasion check, not a deception check. Make for me an insight check as you say this right to his face as he stares eye to eye with you. Oh, we're staring eye to eye? Sweet. That is a non-natural 20. Oh, oh Excellent. Uh, you see his eyes. They are not a beautiful, sparkling blue. Looking back at you, they are this pale, pale purple uh, with little sparks going across his eyes. Uh, there's th- His eyes are becoming bloodshot immediately. Like almost every single second that passes, his eyes become redder and redder around the edges. And these purple eyes look back at you. And you t- can't tell how much Bailey is... If I it really present integrity, it seems as though it's like something else is exerting its power over him right now. Mm. Mm. He doesn't really respond to you in a way. He gives you a glance, like one eye looks over at you, and then the other is fixed upon Mira, like something is just like puppeteering his eyeballs behind his head. Uh. Uh, is what else would you like to do for your turn though? I'm going to make an attempt uh, okay. at trying to, like, hold this person together. Okay. Um, so right now, like, his shoes are bound together. That's true. Um, <laughs> and I assume that, like, he's lying on the ground. Uh, he hasn't fallen over yet. He hasn't or, moved. No. Okay. He he's perfect. Okay. He's completely surrounded by podiums, Integrity. <laughs> um, I'm going to, like, walk towards his back, and I'm going to try and see if tying his hands like on his body is going to stop him in any way you want to try to restrain him yes okay um hmm with a rope yes so you're gonna pull a rope out from like your belt or something and try to bind his hands behind him uh this would be a contested uh check um as if you're trying to grapple him i would say um, so I need you to make contested, uh, athletics checks, please. That mm. is a 24. Okay. You run around behind him, uh, using these podiums to weave around and you can grab his left arm and grab his right arm and just like wrap a rope around it as tightly as you possibly can, binding his arms. Do you say anything to him? Do you whisper anything into his ear while you're here? Like right behind him? These Um, tentacles are writhing around. They start to, like, lift up from the ground, almost like they make... They're they're going to reach towards ripping that rope off in moments. But for the moment, he is restrained. Uh, Do you say anything to him? Bailey, if... I'm going to whisper this to him. Yes. Bailey, if there's anyone else in this world that could understand what you're going through right now, it would be me. And you don't want to go down this path... And we can we can try to help you. We can try to help you. I I know that there's like some part of you that doesn't want to do this. Someone who's afraid. I know it. I know it. A vo- he turns his neck at you and to look at you behind him, and you'll hear his voice in, in, in his voice. You'll hear, "Get away from me, Integrity Idleberry." It just a threat. Maybe it's nothing. You have him tied up, and his shoes are tied as well. He's surrounded. Uh, so what can he really do? Mira, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Yeah, uh, is the crowd, like, completely gone from here? Or? The crowd will generally be dissipated by next round, yes. By next round. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to say to the crowd, uh, okay, yes, please, everybody get out of here. Um, I knew he was unstable. I didn't know it would be this crazy. Um, we'll, we'll try to get this under control and just make sure he can't hurt anyone. Please get out of here. Yes. Like, just that kind of thing. People run, absolutely. The doors God. are open at this point. Yeah. Uh, the effects on Bailey. Does yeah. this appear to be a spell? Hmm. That's an interesting question. You make a arcana check for me. Or if you have detect magic or anything like that, it could also help. I don't know if you have that, Uh, though. 
No, and I think that would waste my turn anyway. Yes. Uh, well, I'll just make an Arcana check. Listen, oh, I can fuck. only... Well, uh, I don't know if it's a spell, because that's a... Well, the, the total's a five, because uh, it was a net one. Absolutely. You, you spend your time uh, trying to manipulate the crowd or just get them out of here. Partially manipulate, partially help out. Mm-hmm. Um yelling words of instruction like a leader should, and you you spend very little time just glancing over at Bailey doing a once over. It seems to be something it seems to be some kind of spell effect that is affecting him, yes. In that case, okay, meta knowledge, in that case that means it's probably not a spell. Meta knowledge mirror does not have. I will cast dispel magic on Absolutely. Bailey. Absolutely. Um hmm. What is your spell save DC? 17. Okay. Uh you cast this spell at him again probably uh describe it for oh me. sorry 19 sorry oh, 19. because of my, my new Plus because two. of my new liar perfect uh, how do you cast this um i imagine it's just this thing of like i strum a few notes and these uh visual representation of music notes basically mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. surround bailey's head you yes. know in uh pokemon when a uh, <laughs> like pokemon's confused. confused there's like that little <laughs> yes thing. Oh, and i oh imagine it almost like it tries to like wash over and almost overwhelm anything that is creating an effect on him and then okay. If it were successful, when the music stops, the spell would just stop okay. with it. Uh, Mira, you see as these rotate circle around his head, the eyes individually are tracking these notes. It's very un- unsettling to watch how his eyes are uh, moving independently uh, like this. Uh, and as they circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, eight times, the purple begins to fade from his eyes and his body kind of like slumps forward you see some of those tentacles begin to recede uh as if you have i'll tell you as if you have suppressed the uh magical state or magical effect that is happening to him but not completely eliminated it for the moment in that case i'm going to call out to winsler and i'm gonna be like do we have any of those circlets left uh we still got quite a few left do you need one we should try to get one on his head. Serenup is running towards the stage at this point with a circlet. I believe that was destined for Ephrosini. I think Serenup is already ahead of the yeah, game. But Absolutely. yeah, like yeah. now that this is um, happening, perfect. I'm going to, yeah, change plans. Yeah. And so Mira, as perfect. you yell us out, a leader in combat as well. Is that it for your turn? Yes. Okay. Um, to your right, Mira Sindra is still standing there kind of like sh- shocked and startled by everything. She has not made to move whatsoever yet. Um, and... Further to the right of you, on the stage, now surrounded by two chairs in animated <laughs> in form, is Ephrosini. She's lying on the ground. She is coughing badly. She's been coughing ever since she fell to the ground, ever since Bailey pulled this stunt, ever since he started to try, try to cast that spell on the crowd here. She is coughing something fierce, and you hear a horrible sound come from her as it sounds like she is almost... Uh, throwing up uh, as she like heaves on the ground she's like on her knees with a hand uh, to her stomach and a hand like pushing against the ground and you hear her like heaving as if she is throwing up something you hear a wet sludgy sound hit oh. the stage oh, itself no. and you see uh, you can look over very quickly Mira the sound alarming Serenaf you p- trying to push through through the crowd towards her as well can see this immediately this uh, it looks like a fat slug with this large beak at its front oh, and just no. tentacles wrapping off from its head. It is probably a foot long, and it looks like she just threw this up onto the stage itself. It is writhing around and then begins to uh, attack one of the chairs nearby. Good luck, you little freak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good luck. The chairs have feet now. They are primed to strike. <laughs> Get stomped on by some fresh gray mahogany. Winsler. Yes. Does a 19 hit the chair? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, so it'll make a it, its tentacles wrap around it as if it threatens to break the chair into bits. Uh, that's going to be seven... Uh, sl- seven slashing damage uh, as it like they just lash out at it and start to cut cut little chunks out of it and then it will bite this exact same chair uh, um, with that weird beak at its front uh, and that is going to be a 15 to hit okay does that hit the chair as well a 15 yes it does yes okay perfect uh, in that case, it'll be another seven uh, piercing damage as it uh, takes a large bite out of the seat. 
Uh, how's that chair looking? Um, not bad. It's, okay. it's it's doing all right. It's holding together. Um, perfect. So I guess in that case, hostile action confirmed. Would the yes. chairs in that case strike the slug? Okay, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and make attack rolls as them. Uh, they right. kick this this creature who's just been thrown up onto the floor by Efrosini. So the first one was a sixteen to hit. Okay. The second one was a nineteen to hit. Uh, both of those hit this creature. Okay. So let's do some damage. Not bad. So that is a nine, nine damage okay. for the first one. It's bludgeoning. Okay. The chairs. Uh, okay. And that one is 11, 11 damage. Okay. So 20 damage total. Uh, they kick it and like stomp on it. Uh, it lets out some pain like <laughs> screech. It sounds foolish, but it looks pretty horrific on the ground. Uh, it looks to be uh, fairly uh, beaten up though. Uh, up next in the turn order. Get him chairs. Sarenath Cinderman, the crowd rush, rushes past you. You have your opening. What do you want to do? You hold a brass circlet in your hands. I have a very quick question. Yeah, what's up? Putting the circlet on someone's head. Yeah. How much does that count towards an action? Like, could I do um, it twice, for instance, or only once? Um, that's a great question. Um, I think the limiting factor here was that would be that you can only reach one of these people this turn. Um, and it depends on how willing they are to have that put upon their head, if that makes sense. Bailey right now, he seems to be in a very subdued state. He's re- like he's slumped over forwards. He's heavily breathing. Integrity has his arms tied up, his feet tied together. Um, mm-hmm. Efrosini is on the ground, heaving still, and lo- like kind of like shaking very badly after having thrown this creature up. Um, but you don't know how she would react to you running up to her and putting a circlet on her head. Um, you could reach either one of these people, but not both of them. Okay. Um. In that case, I will. Don't forget that Misty Step is a bonus action. It is. Oh shit! You're right. Okay, um, because I have the circlet on my head too, so um, I'm gonna say I, I'll, I'll say it. Yeah, I'll I, cause, but, I don't, say I, but I still don't think it's gonna putting be the work. circlet on someone is an action. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. However, fine, it would it would um, mean that if you missy step, you could get closer to whoever you want to put it on next. I guess. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. I'm Who gonna, do you want to go for, Sarah? They're taking care of the slug thing. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna get to Bailey. And okay. put it on his you head. You run towards the stage. You just jump up onto it and rush over to Bailey Blue. He, as you run across the stage, ta 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 ta, uh, like the boards wait. Like now that there's a hole in the stage, the boards feel <laughs> very unsteady underfoot. Uh, and he will look over at you with very tired, very bloodshot eyes, uh, just blue on red his eyes are right now and you can just drop this circlet onto his head he's in a very passive state right now he does not resist this action Saren up the cinderman it slides onto his unkempt hair and onto his head uh, and you can let go and take two steps back as his eyes kind of like roll in his head uh, when you do this um, hmm you do not see any of those tentacles that are emanating from his arms or around his neck they do not retract any further okay and that's it for your turn winsler wallaby what would you like to do most of the crowd is out if not at the door right now you're still at the back of this set of chairs um the only other really people in here or things in here are the the homunculus is still flying above uh and then Ephrosini and cinder are on the stage uh your chairs and the the podiums seem to be doing great work though okay Sindra's still on the podium so she is um i'm going to i believe what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my um arcane tradition feature to of course. teleport closer to Sindra and sort of how like t- how many times are you allowed to do that in a day um because you already used that did i cast a conjuration spell oh it's between, a good question between now is and animate now. objects conjuration sadly no it's transmutation oh. Um, uh, vortex warp is a conjuration. Okay, perfect, excellent. So in that case, I'll just it has use recharged. that and pop on over. Absolutely, Winsler, you take one Hell step yeah. forwards, you disappear from reality, and pop back in right next to Syndra. Uh, Sunfire standing on the stage. Her eyes are wide, and she's looking at Bailey, uh, and then looks over at like this this slug creature on the ground with those tentacles uh, fr- coming out of its head. Uh, do, what do you want to do? I'm just gonna. I just want to like 
keep myself between her and any like sort of harm. Okay, absolutely. Because she is sort of like the only person who doesn't really know what's going on. She's kind of like mm -hmm. another possible victim in this case. So yeah. protect Syndra at all costs. We'll explain absolutely. later. Abs do you say that to her? Look, I know, I know it's a little bit crazy right now. Don't worry, we got everything, we got everything under control. I'm, I apologize if this is a little bit crazy for you. This is not something that normally happens. Um, I'll do my best to keep you safe, though. I promise. Perfect, uh, Winsler, and you can turn your back to her and like put your arms out, eyes dashing between <laughs> Bailey and that slug creature. Um, up next is Bailey Blue. He will. With this circlet on his head, with his arms restrained, with his feet tied together, he looks up, not at you, Integrity, or you, Serenup, but at you, Mira, and will say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She, she's in my head. I can't get her out of my head, Mira. Are we out of initiative? Well, the slug's still alive. The slug creature is oh, still there. You the can reply to him. Still there. You can All reply right. to him. We can wave our hand with a bit with the Bailey stuff, but the slug creature is still over All there. All right. What do you want to, do you respond to him? Do you want to do anything? Look, we still have to deal with that. Just don't get in our way. The circlet should help. He, his head drops. He looks disappointed. He looks defeated. He looks exhausted. Um, that is one second. Okay. Um, I assume a 10 is not greater than your uh, spell save DC, Mira Marchand. <laughs> no, it's a 19. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, so he remains Damn. in this suppressed state with that circlet upon his head and surrounded by podiums and staring up in integrity. Integrity, is there anything you want to do? Uh... There's that slug creature over on the ground, but Bailey seems restrained and very passive. He doesn't seem to be fighting back against you guys right now. Mm -hmm. um, I guess like integrity does not know if it's a ruse or not that like he's pretending to... like. Mm. He to her, it might be him pretending to say sorry and mm -hmm. that he's, like, out of it. So I don't think leaving is reasonable for integrity in this okay. moment. You're going to stand here and still be kind of, like, sentry next to him? Yeah. In case... Do you want to ready an action in case he takes hostile action towards someone? Uh, yes. Uh, I can do that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm just going to ready, like, my squall to... Absolutely. A a attack him in the back if anything perfect because damn okay. yeah okay mira marchand it's your turn there's the slug creature on the ground that's getting kicked to death by chairs <laughs> bailey is in front of you uh, syndra seems to be protected by winsler do you want to and everosini is heaving on the floor still um mm -hmm. is there something you wanted to do Mm, I think the slug creature is probably going to get sure. dealt with yeah. uh, s summarily. Um, Bailey doesn't currently appear to be a threat. Um, so I think what I'm uh, just going to mm -hmm. do is I'm going to look toward Integrity because she is the one immediately closest to Bailey yes. and be like, okay, as long as we make sure that like the circlet stays on and you know that thing can't like come back, we, we should be okay. I I'm going to make it a little easier for you, okay? And I'm going to play, it's kind of like a little power-up tune to yeah. give Integrity uh, a D10 okay. of Bark Inspiration. Yo, that's so yes. big. Excellent. When you say this stuff to Integrity, Mira, Bailey is like nodding along uh while while you say it while you say it and he and he seems to be like nodding in agreement you see he, his like head is so drooped his like entire body looks like he's about to collapse from exhaustion uh you give integrity uh bardic inspiration and mm -hmm. um oh winsler wallaby Yes. I forgot to ask you what your chairs and podium were doing. The podiums will stand guard. The chairs okay. will kick the fuck out okay. of the slug again. Absolutely. Uh, just make two attack rolls, yeah. and you'll probably kill this thing. Um, If they hit, that's... Uh, how's a 12? And 12 11. misses. Uh, both miss. The chairs cool. are inept, Dang. incompetent, terrible. They are flailing around. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, this sluggy creature is going to writhe and um, will try to uh, writhe towards uh, you, Winsler Wallaby, on the stage. It, they probably move uh, five feet towards you okay. uh, in range of one of the chairs and out of range of the other one, so that one gained opportunity attack. All right. Come on, chair. Don't fail me now. That's a nat 20. All right. Okay. The chair hits. Uh, incredibly, it hits the weak point. It 
bashes right at the tip of the beak as and stomps down again <sighs> like a horse as this thing tries to s- slimily crawl away. Even with a crit, that was only ten damage, but I think it's dead well, anyways. Yes, it stomps, and this creature stops in its tracks from where it was moving. Um, Efrosini still heaves on the ground, coughing uh, all the th- all the while. We can drop out of initiative now, as any, all the threats okay. really have been dealt with. Bailey is passive to you all. Uh, Efrosini is coughing a fit on the ground. Syndra is kind of like regaining herself a little bit now, and her hands seem to be shaking as she is uh, very um, frightened. Uh, standing behind you, Winslow Wallaby. What do the rest of you guys want to do? Bailey is like, just has his head down. Uh, what are you guys doing now? Does Cinder have a circlet? No, she doesn't. I'm gonna go down to where the where our box was with the circlet. I'm gonna grab two of them. I'm gonna give one to Cinder. I'm gonna go over and try and get the other one on Nefersini. Absolutely. Uh, Sarah, as everyone kind of like reassesses the situation, you can run to the back of this room uh, where you and Winsler were sitting, grab two circles and start to run back. Mira, Integrity, Winsler, are you guys doing anything in the meantime? What are you up to? What was... Oh, I'm going to um, use my feet to tap for the jade dagger in the cloak. You're like the kicking, one that... at his, you're kicking at his robes? <laughs> Like well, on the ground, he threw he, it he, off. He dis- so yeah, he discarded it onto the ground. You can absolutely yeah, do it. Just... you feel with your foot not wanting <laughs> to touch it with your hands. Uh, and yeah, there's a like a small uh, stony feeling underneath your foot. You can bend down and uh, from one of his pockets in his cloak, retrieve a jade dagger. Integrity, Idleberry. You have no uh, shoes for now. <laughs> There's no sheath for it now. You must only, you, no. I guess you can just have I, it on your I person. I can help you make a new one. It's fine. Well, when you retrieve that, Bailey will turn, he kind of like turns his head very sorely or er, looking at you and will say, she gave that to me. She gave that to me to kill people with. She gave that to me to kill Mira with. I don't, she's something, she, she's, she's still in my head. And she, he looks. Is she makes, listening right now? I don't know. I don't know. She, she went away when you, when you cast spells on me, but, 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 and he like has these tentacles still coming out of his body and goes, there's still these, these are hers. These are hers. I don't know if they can hear. <sighs> she did something to Efrosini. She put, she put, I don't know who else she did it to. To I don't. She, she killed Yakov, and she's controlling me. I'm I'm not in charge anymore. I didn't want to hurt people. I just wanted to help. I just wanted. I just wanted to, to, to help to win. I, your eye didn't. So this wanna... is new. You you went and you went and sought this this pact out for for the election. Is that right? Yes, that's right. I thought she would advise me or give me wisdom, but. She made me poison people. She made me, she drowned me. She speaks to me in my dreams and in my waking, my waking hours. It's, it all went so fast. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't know a way out of this. That's what they want you to feel. Efrosini continues to heave and hack on the ground. Uh, she, she, she just has this like genuinely, like she's about to throw up once again. Oh, oh, no. It's just coughing badly. You're too pathetic to even be mad at. Look, we have we have experience dealing with this stuff, with, with warlock stuff. We'll, we'll figure it out. And then you'd better be dropping out of this. He's just looking down in defeat, and, he, and he, he'll say to you, Mira, not looking you in the eyes, he'll say, I don't want this anymore. This isn't, I don't want this. There's no... He he looks up at you and 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 will say, "I don't want her in my head anymore. That's all I want. I don't care about any of the rest of this. It's all gone too far. Just get her out of my head, please." We will look. I'm not a warlock, but I know the feeling of having somebody who wants you to do something be in your head, and it sucks. And we will we will fix it. Keep the circlet on. Um, She'll, she'll probably still be able to listen to you, but it won't be as bad. Um, keep that on, and we'll... What do you know about her? Do you know if she has any uh, like any weaknesses there, or there anything? Weaknesses? I, I don't think she can be outside. And as he starts to talk about this, Ooh. uh-oh, you oh, see shit. from his ears and from his nose, you see this sh- purple shock once again run over his head, uh, Mira, and he seems to take a hefty amount of psychic damage uh, 
27 psychic damage oh, and he just damn. writhes uh, he drops to his knees now uh, with his hands still bound behind him and will say I can't I can't talk about it she can still hear me she's still in my head she's connected to me she knows this thing isn't this circle the, 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 the circlet isn't doing anything she still knows she can hear yeah. it she can hear it she's plotting against yeah. you guys right now Mira yeah I I really don't think that the circlet will work on him the same way that it's just like entangled yeah. in him with or without the circlet what did you do to her and i w- i would be pointing point at, at um Afrosini. Yeah. at this point sarah if you run back up you can place a circlet upon cindra's head or just pass it to her rather and mm-hmm. you can walk over to the heaving uh Afrosini and try to put one of these on her <laughs> i'm really is there trying anything to, like... else Oh, yeah, is there anything else you wanted to do, or are you just putting the circle on our head and watching? I'm like, because it, it, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's like watching someone get sick at a party. Like, you like yeah. you know, like pat their back and be like, okay, look, if you put this on your head, it's going to be okay. This is going to uh, help, When you I touch promise. her, she, like, snarls at you and says, don't touch me! Um, and kind of, like, go back to hacking. I'm just going to uh, get it on her head in that case. Absolutely, you can try to force it. Uh, make an athletics check for me. Absolutely. Ooh, that is a 15. You wrestle this thing under her head as she protests, uh, and as you pull it onto her head, she relaxes for a few moments, still gently coughing, uh, but not heaving like she was anymore. What are you guys doing with Bailey, with Syndra, with Efrosini? What's the plan here? Syndra, um, do you happen to know of any, like, place on campus that nobody really, like, checks out or, like, goes to, really? Like, do you know anything about, like, some place uh... like that? There, there's there's rooms in the archives that people don't what's going on uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to explain this soon we just need to find a place where we can take these two and just keep them sort of under wraps of everything we don't we don't want this getting too crazy we need to we need to keep them somewhere safe because they are a danger to everybody in this school right now mm. as far as we are aware please do you have any any sort of information any place I just I, there's rooms in the archives. There's classrooms. I I don't know. I I, I don't hide. I, I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. We'll go. Okay. We'll go to a classroom nearby. Uh, one that there's no scheduled class for any time today, and we can talk about it. Look, the the long and short of it is that there's a bunch of really scary, powerful stuff under the school. If you know the golems, you probably know that already. And Bailey made a pact with one to win the election, and now it wants to poison everybody. Uh, I know that's a lot to throw at you, but we're gonna fix it because we. That's kind of what we do, and we'll we'll get it dealt with. But we have to make sure because it might be able to control him, and it might be able to control her. And I point to Ephrosyne, mm-hmm. and I'll say, and as long as we can just tie them up or something, stop it from happening, we can keep them safe, I guess, and deal with it. Um, Integrity is going to like put her um, hands on. Uh, on Bailey's ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, to what? sort of, like... Block like, it out so that so he she can't... can't listen block it yeah. out so they can't listen <laughs> to Okay. I mean, we could probably think of a room on campus that that sort of works like our helmets. Like, are there any strong metallic rooms or, like, that you can think of? Are there cages? Closed cages? For some reason, the only place I think of is the friggin where we worked with like canon nathan the canon lab yeah because like wasn't there just a, t- a ton of stuff in there there I'm was like sh- it was very insulated yeah hmm yeah we could do the canon lab the canon lab might yeah. be a good idea actually okay is that what you guys want to do yeah is there a way that we can almost like sort of walk bailey there of that thing of like his like two people standing on either side so we're not like carrying him and if people were not watching closely it would be almost like <laughs> it was somebody mm. walking but we could kind of bring him in that direction absolutely who wants to be on either side mira do you want to touch this guy at all even no okay. I, that's, I what, I, that's what i assumed serenep and I, is integrity you can yes. grab him under the <laughs> armpits almost and walk with him mira lead the way uh do, what do you want to do with Efrosini? oh i know i know what i could do i could possibly I could try to bring her with Bigby's hand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would work 
spectacularly mirror Oh, a little doll. Oh, before I forget, I, I take off concentration and the homunculus just falls into the ground. Oh, uh -oh. absolutely. <laughs> so as this entire endeavor goes down and it, the, 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 everything seems to be, it gets very quiet in this room. Uh, it, not often have you been in the dining hall with this few people. It's a big room. Uh, your footsteps echo everywhere. Uh, your conversation echoes throughout the room. Those two doors at the front or at, at entering into the dining hall are still open. Integrity, you with one arm and Sarenath, you or Sarenath and Integrity, you can prop up um, Bailey. He, he's barely even capable of standing he seems very weak in your arms and is just head down like almost like he's about to fall asleep as you walk with him uh mira you snap your fingers or play a little ditty on your lyre and this large hand conjures from uh magically from the air and will do you want her to like sit on the palm or any or just pick up by the yeah, neck yeah just on the palm is fine absolutely this <laughs> neck, like a kiss like, like, like a, yeah <laughs> with um, a pincer this, this hand scoops her up uh like a uh handful of grain or a bit of water and mm -hmm. uh, levitates next to you all as you do this um uh, and uh Sarah cinnamon you let go of concentration on the spell levitate this creature this homunculus uh up in the rafters who's been pushed against the ceiling for the past couple of seconds or uh, like a minute uh flies down on loud wings integrity you see this thing it lands on a bailey's head and will like grasp him by the hair and like look over at you and let out like a like squeak <laughs> runt thing, uh, this little impish creature, uh, and and you can also just excuse Syndra. The lot of you, the four of you, with your magic hand, with Ephrosini, as well as carrying Bailey, uh, begin to walk out of the dining hall. Outside is probably fifteen or so people who had already who were just ran out of the room and were waiting to see what happened, and they are in a small crowd. Uh, do you guys say Mira? Do you want to say anything to these people, or are you just going to walk through like nothing is happening? Um, I think I'm just going to like walk through unless anybody like actually says anything mm. or like has any questions. Okay, absolutely. Uh, you walk on through. People are in a stunned. I'm, I am trying to look like a leader, though. Very much like, you know, oh, there was an attack. I've got this under control. Mm. Like, we are dealing with Make a with performance it. check. I would like Great. to help lead Syndra a... out as well. Okay, absolutely. Like, you know, <laughs> help guide her. I have a plus 15 to performance because of my uh, my cool new liar. Uh, so that's a 25. Okay. Uh, Mira, people look at you as if they don't really, hmm, what's to say? People look worried when you walk out. The moment your face, uh, you leading this group, emerges, there is a wave of relief that crosses people's faces. You have just proven exactly what you said that you are a person who deals with these kinds of threats right mm -hmm. uh people seem relieved people seem very hopeful and very um safe in your presence uh and you lead these people out and they all like people will glare or look very worriedly at bailey uh though in his current state he can't really do anything as integrity and sarah kind of drag him along uh winsler you uh walk with sidra for a few moments at the moment when you guys get out of the dining hall and separated from this crowd she will look over at efrosini and bailey and she'll kind of say are, are they gonna be okay is is this all gonna work out we're gonna try and do as much as we can for them it, things are kind of uncertain, so I can't really promise anything, but we'll try it. We'll try our best to get them the help that they need. Um, for yourself, just just as a precaution, just keep Yogg close by. They'll they'll protect you if anything you know happens to show up or anything. Just keep them close by. They'll they'll keep you safe. Okay. Just yeah. try not to mention the spe the specificalities of everything that happened in there. Okay. Oh, Wonderful. and um, and uh, Sindra, keep keep the circlet on. Okay. She holds onto it with like both of her hands and kind of like shaking hands and will kind of walk into the crowd. You see Yogg standing there, very uh, scared body language, Winsler Wallaby. Um, mm -hmm. And the rest of you can walk with Bailey and this magical hand across campus to an uh, insulated canyon laboratory. And we will pick up on that next time on Trials and Trebuchets. Carla, can you give us an outro? 
Thank you everyone for listening to this banger of an episode of Trials and Trebuchets. Please don't forget to leave a rating or a review on our iTunes or wherever you listen to this podcast. Or if you don't want to post anything, you can also share us to your friends because as you know, we don't really like do a lot of promotion, advertising. <laughs> so it truly matters a lot to us when you share us with your friends as well. Also, please give us a follow on our Twitter and Instagram at Trials and Trebs, where you can get uh, teasers and art and just a little bit of a reminder that the episode is coming or is out. Yeah. Um, we also have a Patreon. We do. Um, and you can find the link to that down below uh, where you can donate to us and you can get access to blooper reels and hidden notes um and you can get a glimpse of the brain of luke um (laughs) and you can also potentially add a character in there if you choose that tier like Afrosini Um, or syndra yeah yeah i always forget syndra's an actual i know she's so ingrained (laughs) ingrained yeah and we also have merch yeah merch calm Tremorch.com. Tremorch.com. Where you can get shirts and t shirts. Shirt <laughs> wait. <laughs> where you can get a shirt and stickers. Yes. Um, and all that fun stuff. Yes. There's a bunch of things really brewing in this out. um in this cauldron of <laughs> stuff. So uh, and that's it for this episode. Thank you yeah. everybody for <laughs> listening. Uh, and tune in next week for episode. 200. Wow. Uh, wow. Sure. See you then. Bye. See you, everybody. 200. Bye. Bye.